Can I tell this story of how I write? I just thought I'd give you a glimpse, a quick one, into how I assemble and produce articles. People have asked and wondered, okay, so how do, what, what goes into it? And it starts for me with a product called BuzzSumo, right? Now I have the Pro Edition, you'll see right there. And in this, I can do content research. You'll see that it, it marks as trending now. And I have created my own topic filter, right? This is e-commerce, for example. There's another one that is WordPress. And of course, you can see all sorts of other stuff, fashion, science, politics, what have you. So this is what's trending in the last 24 hours, but you can make it the last hour if you want. And it's pulling in all sorts of data feeds and then using my particular filters, things I wanted to add in and remove and, and shape so that I got my kind of, you might imagine, a glorified RSS feed from the web. And so this shows me things and I go, oh, this is great. I find an article I like and I open it up. For example, here's an article that I really like. I was filtering through and I was like, hey, online retailers should care more about their post-purchase experience. And I go, I have an opinion about that. Even before I've read the article, right? Because I've started by seeing, oh, this is something people are talking about. And then I go in and I see the title and I go, yep, I, I like this. I like this. And I go, I, I, I want to write about it. And so I go into Air Story and I start by saying, okay, let me, let me create a little project here called a blog post. And uh, this is where I'm going to assemble my story. And we'll come back to this in a second. But what you see is I'm reading through this article to go, okay, w w what's their take on the issue? And I've already started working through what's my take on the issue. But I, I want to be able to send people back to these other articles that were some of my inspiration, right? And so I have this cool little tool in Chrome which you'll see right here called the Air Story Researcher. And when I click on it, right, it says, hey, start highlighting. And so I can come over here and I can say, today retail brands create customer experiences, right? You know, you go, oh, okay. Um, oh, no, this, this, is, this is very important, right? And so I, I highlight it and I hit done, right? And when I hit done, it says, okay, this is the post title. Here's the part that you did. Do you want to tag it? Um, and then what air story do you want to put it into, right? And I go, oh, I'm working on blog posts, so I'll put it there. Now, I've already done that, and you can see that right over here, right? I'll pop it open and go to the content. When a customer makes a purchase online, right, there's an experience gap. And I go, that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about that experience gap between when someone buys it and the first interaction, the first touch point. Go, okay, I want, to, I want to work that through. And you'll see that I tagged it when I was... When I was saving it, I tagged it as e-commerce, I tagged it as post-purchase, I tagged it as HBR. That's, that allows me to look through all of my different content that I've tagged and bring it into articles, right? The other nice thing is it saves a citation, right? And I can hit save card. And so then I can use this. I can take this card and I can drag it anywhere into my article that I want, right? You'll see that I've already done that right here when a customer makes a purchase. And after I dropped it in, right, I can, and you'll see here, I drop it in right there, and I get to push the, the green button, right? Now, of course, if I go to outline mode, if I were to check that, I can just see this structure as an outline. If I hit the green button, it drops it into the article, right? Now, I already have it in here, so I don't need it. So I can go ahead and delete this, right? But that's I start working with these cards, right? And you can see if I do something like post-purchase, I can filter the cards that I'm looking at, right? These are all the things that I found as I was doing research online, right? So it starts with the idea, something that people are already thinking about talking about. It goes to the articles. I use Air Story to capture these quotes that I'll put in. And the net result, which by the way, right? You get the ability to say, oh, this is a, uh, an H2 tag. And so when I copy and paste this into WordPress, for example, there is my there is my H2 tag, right? And here is the quote that we were just looking at. And what's nice is because of that citation feature, I can then define and design any sentence I want and then take the particular uh, parts of that phrase and link it back to the citation so I don't even need the footnotes, right? Though the footnotes, if you're writing an ebook, are really helpful. And it also works with photos, right? So you'll see photos here. And if I click on this guy, You'll see all the different photos that I was using. I dropped them in, and then I could put them into the article, and you'll see there's our first guy, right, that matches this one right here. So that's how I do it, right? From idea to articles, researching with Air Story, and then finally publishing on WordPress. Take care.